You read the title right. We are going Halloween hunting, Halloween decor hunting. And I haven't done one of these in a really long time for a couple different reasons. Um, I just collected so much Halloween decor for a specific theme. As you know, I've done Harry Potter probably every year since 2019, 2018 even. I've just been feeling so much nostalgia for that era specifically and like my old apartment, like my old, old apartment and filming videos there. I even wore this shirt a ton there. I don't know what it is. Anyone else feeling like a lot of nostalgia for 2018, 2019. I, anyway, a video I used to do all the time was Halloween decor hunting and we would go to different stores and look at the collections and do a haul of things. And obviously back then the theme was Harry Potter, but I have decided to change my theme. Obviously I'm still gonna utilize what I own for the most part. And I have a lot that isn't necessarily like screaming Harry Potter decor, obviously. So we're still gonna utilize it. I'm not like getting rid of all my Halloween decor but because I have a one and a half year old now and you know she's going to be almost two when October comes and I wanted to think about what Halloween will be like for her in her childhood and like that's up to me to make it special so I wanted to change up the decor she doesn't know about Harry Potter she doesn't care about Harry Potter and the Halloween decor that I've been doing lately is pretty boring for a child so I wanted to buy some colorful vintage inspired Halloween decor I'm just about to leave. Hi. Hi. Sorry, my intro got cut off because my daughter did not want to get out of the car. Like <laughs> She really wanted to just hang out with me. So I had to leave so it'd be easier. <laughs> um, anyway, the plan is to do colorful Halloween, which is definitely not usually my vibe, but now I'm so excited to show Fern Halloween. Last year, she was only like 10 months old, so she didn't really care about what was going on. And I had a lot more space to work with. I don't know if I'm gonna film a decor video, like actually decorating for Halloween, because I just feel like I have to figure that out as I go. Um, go on the walls a lot because she's obviously running around so we can't put anything you know within reach but I do want it to be interactive for her like I want it to be a fun Halloween. So we're gonna find like things that she would like to look at. So I've already purchased a couple garlands and some like vintage Beesel. I mean, it's not actual vintage, but like that vintage look of Halloween decor from Beesel on Amazon. Um, and I'll put up some inspo pics on what I'm thinking. Just lots of bright oranges and like vintage Halloween. I'm not gonna do like cutesy or anything that I don't like personally as well. Um, it is about her, but I also want to enjoy the Halloween decor too. So we're gonna see what we can find. I'm not gonna and buy too much. Someone just pulls in right there, so we're just gonna pivot. <laughs> so I have so many stores on my list, and part of it is also just showing you what's around, what's at the stores right now, and looking at the collections and stuff, and just seeing what's there. Normally, I skip stores like TJ Maxx and Home Goods, which is where I am today, which is what we're gonna look at today. But that's because they usually don't have like Harry Potter, dark academia vibe things. It's usually like traditional Halloween. So I'm gonna see if they have any vintage looking Halloween decor. And yeah, let's just see what they have. Let's let's go shopping for Halloween decor. It feels like it's 2019 again and I'm so excited to be filming this video. You have no idea. habits die hard and I still have Harry Potter on the brain because this looks like a Dementor, right? He's so tall. 
um, just like a wraith, cool looking wraith, and it is light up. The only thing is, it is damaged. You can see he's missing a lot of his little cloak here, um, but that's okay. We'll just like turn him away. He was on clearance for 30, which I thought was pretty good. I'm not doing a whole haul here right now. Maybe like a sneak peek, but I figured I couldn't hide him sitting in the clip right here. So I did get the wraith looking guy. Here is a sneak peek on some things that I got. Honestly, mostly stuff for Fern. I don't even know if you guys care about that, so I don't know if I'm gonna show you all the things that I got for Fern, like her new Halloween PJs and her Halloween books. I don't know, do you guys care about any of that? Maybe I'll show you that at some point. So I have to call it for today, unfortunately, um, but obviously I will continue shopping and bring you guys along with me. Definitely going to Spirit. Uh, looks like they have some really cool shirts this year and just cool collections in general. So we're gonna go to Spirit. Dollar Tree maybe, Michaels, which has some controversy we'll talk about later. And then at the end of everything, we will do a final haul. Um, I spent a lot of money today, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, these are discount stores, or you know, pretty affordable stores, and I spent a lot of money. It's over a hundred dollars uh, so far, so. <laughs> you know, one day I'll clean out my car so you don't have to look at that. I'm sorry, it's gonna be in probably this whole video. Um, but today is day two of Halloween hunting and I'm trying to figure out a game plan because I have limited time as usual and I'm trying to figure out what stores are close to each other and I really desperately wanna go to Spirit Halloween. So I'm gonna see if a Spirit is open. They still on my maps say opens August. So I don't even know if there is a Spirit open near me but I see everywhere else has open spirits so i'm hoping one will be open today they don't even open till 11 though and it's 10 45 so we're gonna go somewhere else first let's go to michael's let's check out michael's now the controversy around michael's is that this year in some of their art in their halloween collection they have used ai and it is so bad that they didn't even edit out the AI generator like logo in the background of the photos or of the art. So we're gonna check that out. Obviously I'm not gonna be buying any of that. And honestly, I don't, I'm not excited about Michael's collections this year. I don't think that they're my style at all. I see a lot of pink, but we'll go check it out. Um, there is a world market right next to the Michaels that I go to. So maybe we'll check world market, but I don't know if they're going to have any other Halloween stuff out. And then maybe we'll see if Spirit is open in that area as well. So let's go to Michael's first. went to Michael's one time last year during Halloween so I was shocked by their collections um, obviously they had a lot of the pink and peach and orange and sparkly disco balls I don't really understand that collection and then there was this white collection that I didn't even know was Halloween stuff until I got closer because I was looking at the other wall which is the vibe I usually go for it's very witchy there's like tarot and like you know cats and all that kind of stuff and then on the other side what were was the white collection i didn't even see that and honestly it was kind of beautiful like that one i can get behind and that might be an option for me in the future to do like a very like pale instead of like a dark aesthetic i don't know that one was very beautiful it was very intriguing i didn't see a ton of the ai art that i had seen on tiktok like the viral ones i don't know if they took them off the shelves or not um but i could tell that some things were AI in there. So let's go over to World Market and see if they have Halloween stuff. If not, I'm gonna buy some snacks and then I'll show you my snack haul, I guess. Um, but otherwise, let's go check it out. No luck at World Market. They only had their fall stuff out and like very, very minimal. So, and I didn't even bother browse. I looked through the snacks a little bit, but like I am so pressed for time. I'm like, 
I can't come in here without a game plan because I will just spend an hour looking through every single snack and probably spending too much money there. So I just walked out. I just like cut myself off. I'm like, you know what? If they don't have Halloween, we're leaving. So let's go track down a spirit Halloween, shall we? Like the star of the show, I feel like. This place is obviously gonna have stuff and I'm kind of saving my money for spirit if I'm being honest. So let's go find a spirit that's open. This is not looking very good. This is my second spirit location. I don't think it's open. There's an escape room. <laughs> that's not a spirit. Um, that's definitely just a normal store. That's definitely not a spirit. Okay, why are there no spirits around me? There's probably more locations, but they're just not open because they're not showing up on the map. So what do I do today? There's a Dollar Tree. I was actually debating going into Dollar Tree. Not that exciting, I know. Not as exciting as spirit. I might've gotten your hopes up. I am determined to put spirit in this video. You will see it at some point. You can look at the timestamps. Like you can jump ahead if you want to spirit because I'm not posting this video until we go into a spirit. Don't worry. But there is a Dollar Tree. Do I check that? You know what? I'm just gonna go to Target. Um, I have to pick up some things from Target anyway, um, and I'm close to a Target that usually has some pretty good Halloween stuff. But is it going to be out? Because it's back to school, and Target, I swear, is so slow with getting their Halloween stuff out. And the fact I haven't seen anyone really shop at Target lately for Halloween tells me it's probably not going to be out. Is it even worth it? I'm, I, I'm not getting anything today. Today's just a filler day, I guess, for this video, just showing you Michaels. I'll head to Dollar Tree. I'm going to go to Dollar Tree. They have Halloween stuff out and we're gonna find something. It's frustrating because that right there used to be a spirit. That's where they would put the spirit Halloween location. And that would be really nice right about now. Slim Pickens, I think all that's gonna be Halloween stuff because there's like one aisle and it's not great. That was definitely a bust. So we're just gonna go to Target. They, I'm pretty sure they were putting out all their Halloween stuff at this location at this Dollar Tree. How is everywhere, uh, like every other person I swear is getting all their Halloween stuff. I know Target's not gonna have anything. How, I thought I was starting late by starting in mid-August for Halloween shopping. I was like, oh my God, Michael's is gonna be sold out of everything. I thought I was starting late. And I know some stores like Target puts out Halloween really, really late because they do focus on like back to school. Um, but it's middle of August and I can't find anything at these like normal stores and no spirit, no spirit near me. That doesn't make sense. I think something's wrong. I think there is a spirit and it's just not coming up on my maps and I'm gonna have to try to track that down because I have to go. <laughs> Target definitely was a no-go. I knew they weren't gonna have stuff out. It's way too early for them. They get stuff for like one or two weeks and then they're on to Christmas and they put it out at like middle of September. So we're not gonna be seeing Target in this video. And I didn't buy a single thing today Today. I don't know if that's a win or not because I'm saving money, but it was kind of a failed day. I didn't find anything for my theme or whatever. I have a bunch of stuff already though for the haul, so I'm not too stressed out about like not having decor that I want for this year's theme, but we'll keep on hunting. We'll keep on hunting. You know where I do need to go as well in this video probably are some thrift stores. I feel like that would be a good place to find like more vintage Halloween stuff. These big box stores, these like, I just, I'm not feeling it. I'm not vibing with their collections this year or you know, they just don't even have stuff out. Guess where we're going today? That's right, Spirit Halloween. It has finally opened near me. Not sure why mine took two weeks longer than what they announced, but we're going to Spirit. I also am going to go to Walmart because I'm filming for my horror channel as well, shopping for physical media there. And I just need some things from Walmart too. So we're gonna go to Walmart, check out their Halloween stuff. I've heard that they also put out everything, but first and foremost, it is finally time for Spirit Halloween. Let's go, I'm so excited. I'm really scared about how much money I'm about to spend. It's a really small spirit. Yeah, it looks so small. It's such a small spirit. I hope they have good stuff.
have to be afraid of how much money I would spend. Um, here's the thing. I did buy some things uh, and I'll show you that in a second. But I just feel like anytime I would like something and I'd pick it up, either it felt cheap and I'm not the person, the kind of person who's like, ooh, it's so cheap, like it's cheap. Um, but this year specifically, just some of the merchandise, like the shirts and stuff, the screen printing on it just felt really thick. And even the pajama sets that were kind of cute, um, there's just like this thick patch of the screen printing right on it and it just felt very cheaply made. Um, and then they overcharge obviously because it's spirit and you know, they gotta make their money, I get it. It's like a once a year <laughs> type business. And then some of the like graphic tees that I liked, they sold out already of a lot of them. Um, and then there was one that I liked that was like $30 and I just feel like it's a little expensive and I'm not like obsessed with it so I didn't actually buy any like wearables which I was surprised because I thought I might even the scream wears like the t-shirt the baby tee was so cute but again the the printing on it just looked really cheap I don't know anyway let me show you the three things that I did end up getting but I'm not gonna be like opening them with you because I'm gonna make TikToks on all three of them. And sorry, my car is like rumbling. It does that weird sound when I have the AC on, but it's 92 degrees today, so I like need it. Anyway, every year they come out with these like VHS cases, but they have merchandise inside of them. So, and they're for $15. So they come with this one, the Halloween 2 one comes with a patch, two buttons, two decals, and a lanyard. So I got a Halloween one, and of course I got a trick or treat one. And then I thought the Terrifier one might be fun. So I got that one as well, but I got these to open over on my TikTok. So if you're interested in that, um, you can go follow me over there. I don't know when I'm gonna post those, maybe in September when it's like a little bit closer to Halloween or I'll post them now, I don't really know. Anyway, we're gonna go head over to Walmart. I feel like Walmart isn't afraid to make things really cheap, but then also charge nothing for it, so. Why can, why can the stores not coordinate and all come out with the things at the same time? Because I was wandering around trying to find the Halloween stuff, it's all back to school. Anyway, I don't really know what to do from here, but I do have some good things to haul in the video you know, that you haven't seen yet. So at least we have that part <laughs> you know, coming because I really don't know what else, what else to do. So I guess that's gonna be it for shopping. Why do I look like Zach Baggins right now? Anyway, <laughs> my hair's back. This hair is not very flattering for filming um, in the car. Anyway, so I lied. We're not done Halloween shopping. I got a Halloween shirt on, appreciate that. We have two more stores to go to. Oh. Like what is, what is all this stuff? got boxing gloves like so I've been seeing some good things at Ross lately so I was thinking we could just pop in there um, it's on the way to the antique store so there is a specific booth at this antique store that always has vintage Halloween vibes and yes they're going to be overpriced items but maybe I can get one thing I don't know we'll see what kind of stuff they have and I think I'm also gonna pop into freestyle because I'm wanting some like fall clothes and I'm filming another video for the channel of cozy fall haul so stay tuned for that <laughs> Ross was definitely the way to go. They had some really cute stuff, like just for any theme, I thought. Um, I did, I'll give you a sneak peek, um, because I did get this pillow, which is so comfy. It's like the most comfortable one they had. And I think it's really cute for, for you know, she can learn about ghosties and what ghosts are. Um, but I just realized that we just bought a new rug and it gets delivered on Tuesday. And it is a terracotta red. Um, so that's gonna kind of put a damper on my decor being orange and black so I think that's gonna look really weird with this on the couch and the red rug but you know what that's fine I already bought it so now we're gonna go over to the antique store and see if we can find some actual vintage Halloween decor
That is officially a wrap on Halloween decor hunting. I didn't buy any of the vintage stuff. I would have if I had a million dollars because some of it was really cute. If that ghost lamp worked, I don't think it did, but if it worked, I would have bought it because it was like 30 bucks. I feel like that's not that bad for a light. Like an authentic vintage ghost lamp light thing. That would be really cool. I did end up getting this mad magazine from 1974 when The Exorcist came out. <laughs> I thought it was really cool and I just had to have it in my collection, but that's the only thing I got there. Also, when I was checking out the girl in the next like checkout, she was a cashier. She was like, I'm sorry, but do you make content online? <laughs> I was like, yes, I do. Um, so hello to you if you ever see this video um, uh, from Antique Trove. Anyway, we are finally going to be doing the big haul of everything that I have picked up lately. Um, like I said, I'm gonna be using a lot of my old Halloween decor, so it's not like too much, but I really love all the vintage vibe things that I found. Now it's time for the best part of the video, the haul, of course. So first up, we got this pillow. I already showed you this in the car. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. How much was it? I think I ripped the tag off. I ripped the price tag off. I think it was $13.99, $12.99, something like that. But like I said, it was the most comfortable one that they had and I really like this print actually. I do feel like it's kind of giving vintage Halloween a little bit. Also, I do regret a gray couch. We decided we're not gonna replace our couch. This is a side tangent for a second. We're not gonna replace our couch until we're done having kids and raising them. Well, maybe, you know, in like five years, we'll get a new couch. But until then, we're stuck with the gray one. And it just does not, I do everything in my power to make this room feel warm, which is why we got a red rug because what's more warm than a giant red rug? We got a huge, a huge one too. So every year I put like a red pillow, I put orange blanket, like just something to make it feel more warm and cozy. Cause I don't know what I was thinking with the gray. Anyway, moving on. Let's just keep going with Ross because I only got a couple things there. The other thing I got was this rug. Is this not the coolest rug ever? Like I love this print for a rug. I'm thinking I'm gonna put it in front of our kitchen sink. $6.99, this was $7. It does have a little snaggly thing, but I'm just gonna trim that off and we're gonna be fine. But I just love this rug. I thought it was so cool. I love that it's not screaming Halloween other than the color, naturally, of course. This is black and orange, it's gonna be a little bit Halloween-y. But I think other than that, it's just like a fun little pattern and it's not like too, it's in your face. What am I talking about? I don't know why I said that. Oh, I forgot I bought these, these peeling candies. I really wanna, oh my God, the smell. They smell so good. I really wanna try one of these. Oh yeah, that's nice. Mmm, wish I got the grape ones that were there cause those are fantastic. And then the other stuff that's just in the Ross bag is all clothes for my daughter. Um, I'm gonna do a little fern bit at the end, not including these clothes, except for this piece. There's one thing I'll show you because we did get some books for Fern and I thought I would share those with you because they're Halloween. Um, and then it'll be at the very end. So if you don't care about anything about my daughter, uh, you don't need to watch that. <laughs> but she needed new clothes. So I just got her some, some clothes from Once Upon a Child because yes, I thrift for my daughter as well. Of course I would. Anyway, back on to the Halloween stuff. Um, home goods. Let's do home goods because I'm actually really excited about one of the things that isn't even for decorating for Halloween. But I got this little guy. I thought he was really fun um, and safe for Fern. Obviously it's not a toy, so I'll watch her. Um, but for the most part, I feel like this is pretty fine for you know an almost two year old to play with. And I was thinking this could go like on the TV stand so she can pull him down and run around with him and do whatever, um, but it won't break. A lot of my Halloween decor will probably break, so I just need more soft guys like this. And this was $12.99, a little overpriced for what it is. Um, but I love the puke green color. I did end up getting this, I call it a wraith. Um, it looks like a Dementor. I just, how could I walk away from this when I usually do like a Harry Potter theme and this is just chilling in home goods? Like, are you kidding? And then we also have a little, there's a little light in there, if you can see that. I don't know if I wanna put this like right outside our front door, um, cause no one will really see it. Oh, okay, this is the last thing from Home Goods, and we'll move on to TJ Maxx, cause I'm getting them confused. Um, this light, hello, are you kidding? I actually bought this to put in the background of my filming setup for my horror channel, because that's just so sick, like that's so cool. And I'm just gonna hang that on the wall behind me while I'm filming, I think, anyway. 
Is that gonna be like really bright? I don't know. I'm gonna play around with it, but that's really my intention with getting this. Um, but if it doesn't work out, then I'll just hang this somewhere else in the house because I love that light. And it was pretty good price too. It was 20 bucks. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to TJ Maxx. So I got towels, kitchen towels. Well, I got kitchen towels and bathroom towels. These are the bathroom towels. Um, just black and white little ghosties. And they're actually super soft, which is one of the selling points. I don't normally buy Halloween towels. These were $7.99 and I just like them a lot. I think they're cool. Maybe I will use them year round. And then these are the kitchen towels that I got. Now from a glance or from, you know, far away, you can't tell that they're actually Halloween towels because they look like checker print, right? But then you get up close and they're little spiders in the pattern. And I just think that's so fun. Again, it's like subtle, but still Halloween-y. These are definitely less soft, but I love it. I love the print so much. Like these are so fun. I feel like these ones I could leave out year round and no one will really like take a second glance at it because they're not gonna assume this is Halloween until they get up close and see the little spiders. Those are so cute. Also $7.99. And then this I really liked, but this is probably gonna be year round and I'm gonna put it on my bookshelf because it's just so gorgeous. This candle, just a beautiful, kind of dark academia. This was $7.99 too. And yeah, this is just year round for me. And I love this. This is gonna be so pretty with all of my books. Okay, lastly, I have all of the vintage like Beesel Halloween decor that's mostly garlands. And this is really what's going to like sell the theme, I think. So I'm gonna put it on the wall above the couch, maybe above the TV. I don't know. We're gonna play around with the with the place and see where I can hang some things. Firstly, this is not a garland, but this is a two-pack of these skeleton cutouts, just classic. Like not if you grew up in the 90s, these are classic 90s halloween decor and i love them and these are just gonna be so fun i might hang them one on each side of that mirror i haven't decided obviously um but i love that it's a two-pack i'll have links for all the amazon things i don't make any commission on the amazon links or anything like that no amazon's not the greatest but they do have a lot of beastle things <laughs> there's quantity one but it looks like there's two maybe there's just two labels anyway i got this halloween streamer and th this is a lot bigger than i thought it was going to be let's actually take this out of the package and see how it looks. I haven't really looked in at these at all. Um, so they gave me two, <laughs> but the packaging says, I don't know if you can see that, it says quantity one on the packaging and they sent me two. So that's kind of nice. Did I accidentally get two? I don't think I did, but it's six foot and it's just this like vintage design, black and orange classic. You can see all the little guys that's on here and i love that so much definitely gonna put at least one of these over the couch this over the couch with like my pillow that's gonna be so cute i'm definitely gonna purchase a couple more things i think um before the year is over but these are just gonna be so fun to have in the collection that fern can grow up with and maybe even inherit I don't know. Now, Fern loves cats, obviously, because we have cats, um, and she loves skeletons, which is why we I got skeletons and I got a cat, because those are the things that she really likes. Instead of like a witch, she doesn't really know what that is, or a ghost. Um, so I got the things that she could like identify, and so I got this cat. It's a vintage Beetle little cat. This is just so fun. I love these decor items. Like, I can't wait to have a whole collection of stuff like this. And then I did end up getting this from H&M for Fern's room. It's for children. It's for a child's room. And it's a little Halloween garland, but they're a little like cutesy kind of Halloween decor. So I was gonna hang this over either her crib or her changing table, maybe. Okay, so we have pumpkins, bats, cats, ghosts and a skeleton and some skeletons that's so cute that's really cute for a kid's room for halloween i'm definitely going to be one of those parents that like decorates their kids rooms for the holidays so i'm very excited to hang this i probably do her changing table because then she can look at it instead of swarming around you know what i mean so that is all the halloween decor that i was able to find i'm i've been very picky and very selective because like i said i already have so much so that's all i got for halloween decor i am going to get into the fern things and like halloween themed stuff that i got for fern if you don't care um, about kids stuff 
then you don't have to watch the rest of this video. No offense taken, trust me. But I'm a mom now and that is my life basically and my life revolves around her. So I'm gonna eat another one of these bananas. Those are so good. I'm definitely going back for the grapes, I'm sorry. Okay, now that it's just the rest of us who care about children's things, I feel like I can freely talk about Fern. Sometimes I feel like I have a need to like censor how much I talk about her because I don't want people to get bored. Um, even though that sh whoever, like whatever, that doesn't matter because obviously my life is so different. <laughs> um, but I do worry that people are like annoyed. I don't know. I don't know why you would be, but that's just, I feel like it's a hard balance, you know, cause I still want my content to feel like relatable for everyone, uh, even if you don't have children. So that's why I feel like I shouldn't focus everything around her, but that's my life. Let's get into the kids stuff. There are some amazing Halloween stuff. If you don't go to like TJ Maxx for Halloween stuff for your kids, you need to, cause the books are iconic. Let's start with the books, Boo Ba La La La. If you know, you know. This artist and this author is so good. Uh, we have so many of her books. <laughs> this is one of Fern's favorite styles of art. And this is a pumpkin themed one, Halloween themed one. So obviously I had to get it, but yeah, $3.99 for that. It's a really good deal. Um, I got another one called Spooky Pookie and this from the same author. Um, they're just really cute. And this is also $3.99. We're a big fan of Goodnight Goon in this house. We read that to her all the time. Um, we don't have Goodnight Moon, but we have Goodnight Goon. And so this is, we're going on a goon hunt, which is another parody book for kids and I, I just love these so so much and then uh, we are indeed a bluey household I mean how could you not be bluey is fantastic I love watching bluey as well and this is a book where it has magnets and they can put the magnets on the page and Fern is a big fan of magnets actually so I just thought this was really cool that they can like play around with the different items and I feel like this will work for a lot of kids um, at different ages and this was $10.99 so I thought that was a pretty good deal and then for clothes so once upon a child I picked up this little shirt um, that is just like subtly Halloween I mean obviously it's orange but you know just a couple of the cats have little witch hats on them and I thought that was really cute she can only wear it probably for two months and then she won't ever wear it again because next year she's gonna be too big for it. But that's the reality of kids clothes, right? I had to stop myself from buying too many pajamas for her because that's one of my favorite things to buy for her for some reason um, is pajamas and like really comfy pajamas. So I, ha I did end up putting the mummy pajamas back, but I did get these. I liked the mummy ones more, but that was like my taste coming through and I knew that she would enjoy the cats more so i got her the cats and they're just so cute little cats and pumpkins come with little fuzzy grippy socks which is so adorable um and this is the kind that's like really stretchy and soft if you know you know it's that bamboo type material which is my favorite kind of pajamas to get for her um so those are really cute and then they had bluey pajamas which again these are so soft these are probably softer than the bamboo ones um but they have bluey pajamas are these for a boy probably i don't really care um and these are just so freaking cute like look, look at those pants i just i love it i think she's gonna love it too this was ten dollars for the set really good deal i think for like licensing okay so that is officially the end of every part of this haul i hope you enjoyed this classic nostalgic type video throwing in my kids stuff which is kind of fun um so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned because i will be posting a cozy fall haul which is going to be all the non-halloween themed things that i've been picking up up, like candles puzzles books things you know for my cozy hobbies in fall time and fall themed things so keep a lookout for that i'm going to be posting that very soon sometime in september and i will talk to you soon bye <laughs>